Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sam back with another episode of The Sims Code. Hi! So today is like a quick yay or nay. Now, this is for the month of uh, we're in September, right? So this is for August. I did not make many purchases, as you know, you're well aware. July was a month where I got carried away and I messed up my finances. I just got tempted to like purchase a lot of them. And I was in the zone where I was like, uh, let's push through, you know, like let's get as many perfumes as you can. Today, I'm sorry, I'm like dressed up very casually because like I just did not feel like wearing like a lot of like jewelry and all that stuff. So I just thought let's just pull out a hat and I can be <laughs> presentable, you know. What happened was in the beginning of uh, September, I went through, uh, actually not beginning of September, it was kind of like in the middle of August where I went through like a surgery, which was uh, a very terrifying one. It took me a lot of uh, willpower to, because uh, I was not allowed to get out of bed. I had to um, carry a catheter bag around me and it was just bad. It was like catheter failed. And then I just had to like, uh, heal on my own it was quite painful i'd rather not discuss about the condition and everything but uh, maybe in future when i feel less traumatized by it i might discuss it but thank god before the surgery i didn't actually look at the procedure on uh, youtube but after i was like all everything was said and done and i got like better then i saw the video and i was like oh my gosh no wonder it was so trauma traumatizing you know so yeah this is like a roundup, yay or nay, so I'm going to do it like very quickly because they're just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine perfumes. Odd number. <laughs> so let's start with the first one, which is the Signature True. So this is by Arma. And as you all know, I had bought this for uh, being a dupe for your uh, La Nuit Tresor by Lancome. Oh, it's a very, very beautiful perfume. Like I am so glad that I bought this because... Although this is not like uh, La Nuit Tresor, this is very much in the same DNA, the same genre. It is sweet, effervescent, uh, very uh, seductive at the same time because it has like, uh, it's not shallow, it has like depth to it. It has like this quality that will attract uh, a lot of people around you, not just the opposite gender, but everybody around you. You, This is like a feel-good perfume. You wear this, like uh, people around you will just feel like naturally happy around you. You yourself will feel happy. It's definitely a very, very sweet scent. So if you're not very fond of sweet scents, this is not going to be for you. The category for this is Amber Vanilla. On Fragrantica, it's got 4.18. And the top notes for this are Pear, Tangerine and Bergamot. Middle notes of Strawberry and Passion Fruit. And the base notes of Praline, Coffee, Caramel, Vanilla and Patchouli. So just imagine all these notes. Like you have like a lot of fruits which are like very uh, fresh, you know, like something which you would like probably expect on a tropical island or like uh, uh, in a very tropical country where you have like actually these kind of fruits available. The coffee, it's like, I'll tell you, it's not like very prominent. So even in the base note, even in the dry down, you don't really feel the coffee coffee. It is like remove the bitterness of coffee and like a little bit of aroma is there. And that too, if you did not know, if you didn't read the notes, you would probably not even smell the coffee in here. And the patchouli also is like the sweet patchouli. It's not a dirty patchouli. It smells nice. And overall, this perfume just gives me like a very nice feeling. I enjoy it a lot. I've been wearing it a lot. I've been reaching for it a lot. I know for a fact that in winter, I'll be pulling this out more. Although this is like a anytime, wear it anytime. People say it's better for nighttime, but you know what? I would wear it during daytime as well. I'll just be very friendly and approachable if I wear this. This is not a unisex. This is a, initially, like uh, I had said that this can be pulled off by a guy too, but no, this is a very feminine leaning perfume. You can wear it either or. Like I just feel like perfumes are very subjective. Wear what you feel like. If you enjoy it, wear it and let's not, you know. But for the sake of the review, I'm just saying whether it leans masculine or feminine. The projection for this is like three feet at least and the longevity is like four to six hours. You do need to touch it up like on regular basis, like maybe after every four, five hours. I do it like every four hours for this one, just because I like that like freshness of the opening and everything to be there and not just the sweetness to linger on. Uh, when I come home also, like the like the base note, you know, your dry down, it's just so beautiful. Like even Ali, he always appreciates this perfume on me. This for me is like an 8 out of 10 perfume and it's a definite yay for me. The celebrity I had given this to was Kristen Stewart. The next one was also purchased as a dupe. This is the dupe for um, Crystal Noah by Versace and it's called Amirat, Amirat Al Ehsas. And this one, again, it's like that pepper, ginger, 
the you know uniqueness the coconut pepper ginger that was your crystal noir right see see like the opening especially for everybody who feels that shampoo quality in the crystal noir the exact same shampoo quality is here as well the old old school shampoos you know which used to like make your hair like smell so strong i always call it pearl plus uh scent because i just remember one of the pearl plus had this kind of uh, scent sort of you know this is supposed to be a fruity floral in my opinion this is a very uh spicy floral on fragrantica it's got a 3.85 which is utter nonsense i just don't believe that how how can people not like this but i know that even crystal noir a lot of people have gotten used to it they don't like the uh, perfume anymore because it was like it is quite old but this one i just feel like it smells very close to it this is a more wearable version because the other one is like a very date night kind of like you know wear or a club wear but this one i feel you can just wear it like on a day to day basis as well the top notes for this are coconut ginger cardamom and black pepper middle notes of gardenia orange blossom and peony and the base notes of white musk amber and sandalwood oh like it's gorgeous like for me like i just it reminds me as going into a salon where there's like strong smelling products hair spray shampoo you know like a very like hair hair salon kind of a vibe but at the same time it has this uh, coconut ginger pepper combination which is so unique if you anybody has ever smelled crystal no noah they will just know if somebody else wears it you just know it's such a unique dna it's such a unique perfume and i absolutely love it i feel versace like knocked the ball out of the park with this one and amirat al ehsas is no different because it is definitely a milder like um less sexy the other one is like a really sexy perfume that's why you feel it's a date night this is also like sexy but not the siren sexy the other one is you know so this is definitely like a very femme fatale kind of fragrance definitely a very feminine fragrance the projection is like not a lot let's say 2 to 3 feet and uh, the longevity is like a good 6 hours the more it's macerating the longer it's lasting so like i just feel like this perfume is just going to get better by the day i have given this uh, 8 out of 10 uh, and this one is a definite definite e for me the celebrity i had given this to was vanessa kirby if you don't know who she is just look her up i feel like she would smell like this she also is like has a femme fatale quality to her and uh, she's gorgeous and this perfume is like absolutely stunning also i just absolutely love the bottle of this next one was like an absolute fail for me i know a lot of you like this perfume but for me this is like blah like this entire range is like non impressive like very meh perfume it smells very um you know in convenience store you have those sprays which are like or even like those uh, uh, perfumes that like are there i don't know over here you have it in convenience stores but i'm assuming over there you would get it in target and stuff like which is like their own brand it smells nice and it does smell it has like that little uh, passion fruit a uh, mango kind of vibe going on but at the same time it is like floral and sweet like there's nothing much going on to it it's compared to uh, fame by paco raban and i'm very tempted to get that because people are like saying that this is like a like a little toned down version of that and like i do like mango note but it has to be done like really really well so i am like you know i will definitely test it out because all those kind of perfumes i can actually test it out in the in the shop you know so i'll go and check it out Top notes for this are coconut, mango, and passion fruit. Middle notes of jasmine, heliotrope, and orange blossom, and the base notes of cashmere and vanilla and musk. So literally, it is your tropical fruits: coconut, mango, and passion fruit, with your flowers, which are like mostly white, and then you have the base notes of everything, which is sweet. So for me, this was like a very basic perfume. Uh, I I I don't reach for it. Like this is okay. Like if I'm roaming around in the house and I just feel like spraying something mild, I would wear this. Before sleeping, I might wear this. You know. or if i'm just having a lazy day i would wear this you know but like otherwise no projection is like barely 1 feet longevity is like uh uh maybe like 2 to 3 hours it's like very very mild it does leave like that musky thing on your skin which is not a bad musky thing but it is just something like meh, like every other perfume smells like this so for me it was like a you know whatever so this is like a nay for me like a definite nay for me and the celebrity i had given this to was uh, shailene woodley Now another fail I had was Sandos. Now the bottle itself looks like a, a torture device from the medieval times for uh, women. <laughs> wow! Like uh, the bottle makes like no sense. I don't even know what it's trying to. Uh, is it like a champagne bottle? Is it like I don't know. Like but this whole pattern on it. Okay. Now this perfume. I absolutely don't like this perfume. Everyone is telling me to wait, let it macerate, and then it'll turn better. Uh, I can tell you, it's getting better, like slightly better in performance. But the smell itself, 
it just reminds me of those old school perfumes like Charlie. Charlie is like the one that comes in mind. But there were these like perfumes in the uh, during those days where they used to have uh, where you used to have Montana, Charlie. Like they were like very like uh, there was Yohan mask. Like these were like like all there. Everybody was buying it. Everybody was using it. Everyone used to smell the same. And plus it has like a detergent kind of scent also. Like the whole sweet detergent laundry. Like you know like I don't know. Like it just it's, it has zero appeal for me. It has zero appeal for me. The box was gorgeous, by the way. The, the packaging it came in was gorgeous. The bottle is like an absolute disappointment. And the perfume itself just smells like a, like a perfume you would have had like imported to you from another country. But your country is very poor and they could only afford to like get like imported perfumes that are super cheap, like Charlie. It just reminds me of that. So no, this is like no. But surprisingly, it lasts like decent. Like it's uh, like three to four hours changes quite a bit but then it just becomes like a laundry detergent kind of scent you know and the projection of this is like two feet feminine for sure so this is a definite nay for me and uh, i remember like i was so disappointed with this perfume that i had not assigned it to anybody like it was just like horrible to assign this perfume to anybody or did i assign it to somebody i don't know but i just don't like this perfume so no no not at all the next one was a beautiful beautiful perfume recommended by a lot of you and i'm so glad i bought this this is the Amirat Al Arab, which unfortunately came with the crooked sticker, which pisses me off. But the bottle is gorgeous. Like, you know, it has this design on the cap. Then you have this black thing. Then you have the side panels, you know. Then you have like this beautiful velvet bottle. Uh, you can see through it, by the way, if you look at it in the light. And then you have the sticker, like a plaque. It's not even a sticker, it's a plaque. This perfume. Like, again, this feels like a very Middle Eastern kind of perfume. And Amirat Al Arab means like Princess of Arabia. And this one is like definitely a cold, cold floral. On Fragrantica, it's got 4.18. And it's compared to Armani's My Way. I don't think it smells like My Way. Yes, it's the same genre. It's not even the same DNA. It's like the same genre. It's like floral, fresh floral, you know. So the top notes for this are citruses and bergamot. Middle notes of white musk and aloe vera. And the base notes of jasmine, musk, buoy notes and oud. I can't smell oud at all in this. It's like invisible. Like I don't know why they've mentioned oud over here, but I don't know. It smells literally like a lot of citruses, a lot of white florals, along with like your uh, uh, little bit of woods and white musk. There's nothing like majorly innovative about this, but this is just such a feel-good perfume. Like you wear this. This is like in the same uh, caliber as uh, Haya. Haya is also the same from Latafa. You just feel very fresh and nice when you wear it. It's sweet. It's very reminiscent of Ariana Grande perfumes. You know, these like Haya, this one. Just reminds me of Ari, especially that perfume Ari. Kind of like in the same vibe, you know. And I really, really like it. I reach for this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Because it's just so easy to wear, you know. Day-to-day -day basis, going to office, going out for grocery shopping or like, you know, just running like errands around town. Just smells so good. Very friendly, very... Uh, uplifting and very cooling for summer so that's why i just love this perfume very much this projection is like two feet uh, longevity is like four to five hours not very long so you do need to keep uh, refreshing this perfume uh, and this is like super 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 feminine i have not given this to anybody it looks like i don't know uh, if i feel like somebody comes to mind i will put their picture over here so this one was like a big 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 yay for me and i would give this a maybe eight out of ten because like it's a very nice perfume, but it's not very innovative. Then the next one was its sister, which was in a very beautiful bottle. This is the Amirat Al, uh, Amirat Al Arab Privé Rose. So this is like your very blushed rose with the white thingy. The cap is in rose gold, you know, but it has those side panels. Everything just like the its predecessor. Now this one is like uh, supposed to be smelling like Delina exclusive. And uh, as you guys know, that rhubarb Ugh. okay so this one doesn't have rhubarb but it definitely has something bitter green it's a bitter green just like rhubarb do not like it do not like that note now this one has the top notes of strawberry grapes and orange middle notes of rose white musk jasmine gardenia gardenia garden gardenia lily and ylang ylang and the base notes of tonka bean amber and sandalwood bro like it cannot get sweeter than this is like so sweet that you like will get diabetic you know you'll smell this and you're gonna be like i need insulin shots you know so the strawberry is there and grapes are there, orange is there. It's all very like those uh, fake uh, uh, notes, like they're not like smelling like 
like fresh strawberry this smelling like an essence or like a fake one you know like a cheap fake one you know and then you have like all this rose musk jasmine again all of them smell like super fake nothing smells fresh and be because it's lacking that freshness instead you have that bitter green scent which smells like rhubarb but it's not mentioned over here i do not like this like if you like delina and that dna you might actually like this perfume but for me this is an absolute no it's a nay it's a nay it's like so bad like for me it's like yeah it's like if i didn't have a choice i don't even know if i would like if i had no perfumes except for this one would i reach for this like just like you know and initially i'd given it a 6.5 out of 10 that's too generous like i just feel this is like a 5 out of 10 max max it's too like it's so overwhelmingly sweet like your you'll get like your tooth will start hurting you know uh, no 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 <laughs> Now the next one was Ajayab. Now when I made the video for this Ajayab and this Ajayab, you know, so I didn't know that this one was called uh, Ajayab Dubai Portrait, I think, and this one is Ajayab Dubai. So let's go for this one first. By the way, this was the <laughs> this was the perfume where in my comments I'm getting hate because people are saying that I talk nonsense. So I don't care. I just like I say what I feel like. I say I actually express perfumes by my emotions and by uh, the way I feel or whether it gives me like a location feel or something uh, like a food or drink or something feel like it has to invoke something and it has to invoke some uh, emotions and that's what I'm doing so too bad if you don't like it sign off you know so the Ajayab Dubai portrait has got five out of five but that's just one vote <laughs> since one person has voted for it on Fragrantica the top notes for this are orange lemon osmanthus mango jasmine Sandalwood, Amber, Musk and Oud. Sorry, I didn't say it in no structure, but I'll mention it over here. So yes, this is like a very, 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 very fresh perfume. But then it has like, there's something green in this, but the greenness is very nice. I just feel like it is, maybe it's the Osmanthus. It smells like a very, like a wildflower. It doesn't smell like a nice smelling flower. It smells like a wild wildflower, like how daisies smell like, or I guess Osmanthus is one of them, you know, but uh, doesn't have like a good smell it has like a green uh, earthy smell and this has like that initial citrus with that earthy uh, leaves and flower kind of smell they say it has mango and i do get the mango but it's like a mango uh, concentrate it doesn't smell like a fresh mango jasmine i guess it's there but i can't smell it then you have sandalwood amber musk and oud at the bottom oud is non-existent again that's why this will never ever 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 be classified as an oud for me doesn't smell like oud at all it does have that sandalwood which is adding the sweetness alongside the musk and amber but that's about it guys this is a very simple perfume it'll be very good for wearing at home running errands it's not uh, um, anything which is uh, uh, what you call it scary or offensive or you know the bottle is like very strange but i like it so much i think the bottle is like gorgeous and it's the the it you know what it smells like it smells like a uh, the uh, what do you call it mimosa it's something like that also this mango is done right you know it doesn't smell juvenile it smells like good like good like the mango is good although it's like a synthetic mango for sure but it's very 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 nice and yummy you know so i absolutely thought this was a yay and i would give it like um eight out of ten the perfume is gorgeous will i buy it again i'm not sure i'm still looking for that perfect mango uh, perfume which i've still not found so let's hope we do one day <laughs> but this one is definitely a yay for me the next one is his sister as a brother which is the ajayab dubai the other one was ajayab dubai portrait this one like instantly smelled like popcorn to me like it smells like caramel popcorn the opening especially just hits you like when you're entering the, the movie theater and you have the candy stand, candy store and you have like the popcorn uh, counter, smells like that. Now, I got hate for this as well, calling it a popcorn uh, smelling perfume and people are like, what do you mean popcorn? You know, so this has got a 4.17 out, uh, out of 5 and this still has some modes. Now, this one has the top notes of pineapple, saffron, middle notes of coffee and violet leaves and the base notes of sandalwood, butterscotch and vanilla. Honestly speaking, for me, this is just a butterscotch or caramel popcorn and then it has like some wood notes. I don't even smell the coffee. It's like very weird. And the violet leaves, like saffron, like all this pineapple, like not even existing. Like, I don't know. It's just like a very strange perfume. Uh, it's uh, compared to Killian's Black Phantom. 
I don't know, I haven't smelled that one, so I wouldn't know. It's a very strange perfume, that's all I can say. Is it nice? Yes. When you smell it, like this is going out with friends. So instantly like this gives me that popcorn kind of vibe. But it's definitely masculine. And it has like, maybe the pineapple is there. But like it's, it's not like the pineapple forward, forward pineapple. Like a sweet pineapple or something. But there is something which is like fruity. But I don't know whether it's necessarily pineapple. Nice perfume. I would give this a 7 out of 10. I would probably like finish this and not buy it again. Ali is also quite like um, hesitant to use this. He just says it smells strange to him, you know. So like, I don't know, like it's a very niche kind of perfume. It has that niche quality where it, everybody might not like it. It's an acquired taste. So try it before you buy it, yeah? For me, this is a yay, definitely. And uh, seven out of 10, yeah. Now last but not the least is Badiyal Oud Honor and Glory. What a gorgeous, gorgeous perfume. This one is a latest launch by Latafa. Mine is still macerating. And despite it not being completely macerated, it smells fabulous. This is supposed to be like a, a due for Ani, but I don't think this is a due for Ani at all. It's categorized as a gourmand. And on Fragrantica, it's got 4.39. Top notes of pineapple and creme brulee. Middle notes of turmeric, cinnamon, black pepper and benzoin. And the base notes of vanilla, cashmere and sandalwood and moss. To me, it smells like a turmeric latte with hints of uh, black pepper, hint of cinnamon and like a little bit of uh, vanilla essence in it. It has a little mossy thing going on but it's not so much that it would bother me. But if I really focus on it then of course it starts smelling like moss to me, you know. But otherwise like just in the spray you will not feel like it at all. So maybe sometimes it's good not to read the <laughs> ingredients, you know, because otherwise you just like get influenced, right? It's an extremely unique perfume. It has a very positive vibe. Now, although I hate lectonic notes, like absolutely dislike it, and anything which says cream, milk, lectonic, you know, brulee, like all those kind of things, I stay away from. This, however, it literally smells like a latte, a turmeric latte. If you know how it smells like, you just know. The turmeric, however, is very subdued, so it's not a strong turmeric, turmeric latte. I absolutely love this perfume. It's a yay for me. I can't wait for it to macerate more so that I can like get uh, better longevity from it because currently the longevity of it is like very very uh let's say two hours at most and the projection also is like like it's a it's an intimate sense so you need to come really close to me to smell this like maybe one feet or so which is like you really need to be close to me but like it just like when it goes in the air it just becomes this like really beautiful you get surrounded by this like beautiful white aura like literally like it's like this bottle and the celebrity i had given this to was Gigi hadid in like a white silhouette dress with some gold jewelry and she's blonde you know like that entire vibe it's like absolutely stunning this is a 10 out of 10 perfume for me i i love 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 this if I would have a favorite from the entire collection of uh, August, it would be this one. This was like a discovery. This was like so unique. Like I know I can even layer this with like a lot of different things to create like unique experiences. But uh, that's yet to come because I want this to macerate first. So, so happy I got this. It's definitely yay for me. So that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. This was like a very quick yay or nay because I just had like a very few perfumes. And I just like wanted to do like do it like really fast because of late I've been making videos and they're so long and so annoying like to edit because uh, the first Beast Mode perfume uh, video, it was like an hour and a half long and then I clipped it, clipped it and it still was like almost 50, 50 minutes long, you know. So I'm trying to make it like more concise and everything. But um, anyhow, I hope you learned something and uh, these will help you make purchases or not make purchases. Thank you guys for always supporting me and being there for me. I love reading your comments. I love interacting with you guys. I know I missed out like a bunch of uh, uh, comments and I cannot reply to replies because like it's just like uh, I'm, I'm being I'm not complaining. I'm being appreciative of this appreciative of this because it's just like I'm getting overwhelmed. Like there's so many comments, but I want to not just say thank you, welcome kind of thing. You know, it's I, I want it to be like a genuine comment and I want a, an interaction with you guys so that's why I try and take time responding to all the comments so please do not mind if I miss your comments or something I will definitely like try and catch up to all of them so until next time guys I'll see ya bye